All right. So yesterday, I went to the Great Barrier Reef after not going there for six months, and I was craving it for so long. But it was so beautiful. I could not believe how healthy the coral was. I saw a news article saying that the reef is as good as it's been for a very long time. And I was like, yeah, whatever, news articles, they like to hype things up. But actually, the health and the vibrance of the coral is unlike anything I've seen in a very long time myself. And that was awesome. I took great pleasure in diving down and swimming along the waters in amongst the corals, the fish life. There were so many fish, everything was amazing, which is super encouraging because earlier this year, we did in fact have a coral bleaching event, but thankfully it wasn't long enough for the corals to actually die because a coral bleaching event doesn't automatically mean that the coral all dies. It can recover, but if it's stressed out for too long, it dies. And you know what, I can kind of understand. If I get stressed out for too long, oh, woe is me. So that's really good to see that the corals are super good. Uh, scientists believe that it could be in part because we haven't seen any large cyclones come over our reef uh, in the last couple of years. So that could be a big positive. The coral bleaching event didn't have a severe negative impact on the reef, which is also good. However, it doesn't mean everything's hunky-dory and we should just forget about it and, you know, let's start burning more fossil fuels and throwing plastic in the ocean. No, we've got to be vigilant in our actions towards climate change because it is an unfortunate event that we do have a La Nina coming this summer, which could mean that it's gonna be quite negative for the coral reefs because La Niñas means cyclones and lots of rain and sadness and terribleness. So we really have to keep an eye on our reef, keep an eye on everything out there and make sure that we can do our bit to mitigate the impacts of climate change because the coral reefs at the moment, it's all fresh new little corals and it's the uh, initial succession corals as well. So this is the first coral species that comes up and they're hard corals, but they're delicate corals. So they can break apart with a single storm, which means these last two years could be absolutely thwarted in a single cyclonic event. If that's even a word, it is now. Cyclonic event, oh, that sounds fancy. So we must keep an eye on that. But at the moment, I am just through the moon. Yes, through the moon, not through the roof. I'm through the moon. I'm over the roof. Things are looking absolutely incredible on the reef. And I am a happy conservationist seeing it. Enjoy the footage and share with me how amazing all this was. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more ocean goodness and Great Barrier Reef facts. Thank you. Until next time. Bye-bye.